Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a mask cut between two scenes. So using um, basically a mask to mask a scene to transition to another scene. Uh, what is key, I think, to create a very effective mask cut is to make sure that the clips are going in the same direction, you know, in the same kind of motion. And so if you have a frame that is going, you know, left to right, it's kind of good to have another uh, frame that you're masking to also go in the same direction. This way the eye is kind of carried across uh, between the scenes, so make it makes it more believable when uh, you're cutting. So that is just one way to do that, and I'm going to show you in this video, you know, just simple ways that you can create these mask cuts. Uh, again, it's not a very complicated technique. Um, I think sometimes people uh, are very impressed by it, but they think it's very hard to do when really, in reality, it's a very simple technique that uh, t in today's uh, day and age, something that I think any creator can, you know, simply pick up uh, with, uh, you know, their latest NLE. And, but in this video, I'm going to show you using Final Cut, how you can kind of mask a transition uh, such as this clip here that I'm going to show you. Hi, so the first step to creating these transition cuts is to first think about how you're going to shoot for the cut. So it's important that you shoot uh, using the same motion or the, the same kind of pan or tilt. And, you know, that way when you cut the shot, they're going to be seamless. Uh, so now I'm going to go into Final Cut Pro and show you how I create these transitional shots. Hi guys, so I'm in Final Cut and these are two shots that I took from Kensington Market in Toronto. And, you know, they are from my phone and so they have that kind of digital look over it. So I guess just for this example, ignore that. But what I'm going to show you is how you can mask these two clips. So this one's going in a left to right direction. And then this one's going up and down. You're going to search for is a mask. And you're going to click on this option, draw mask, and click it onto that clip. And then what you're going to do is it's going to say click to add a control point. So you're going to move to the front of the clip where you want to make the cut. So let's say it's right here, right? So I'm going to use the edge of this wall and I'm going to just create a mask very simply like this. And what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go into invert mask. And I'm going to make sure that I click the keyframes for the control points and the transform. And so then I'm going to make sure that my playhead is uh, right where I want it. And this is, you know, does take some effort, but basically you're going to go through frame through frame and moving this mask. So let's start here. So you're just going to keep moving it as uh, the clip kind of, um, you know, again, this isn't perfect because I'm using, um, you know, a digital kind of look of my camera, but um, I think you get the point, right? So you're creating a mask that is going to go along with um, this, you know, um, edge here. And so you just keep moving forward. So this is how it looks at the end. So transition one shot to another, right? And I mean, realistically, you'd want to have this kind of already complete, um, meaning, you know, you would want it, uh, I guess the way that cut off the clip, uh, starting at right here, maybe. And um, yeah, there you go. So that way you create a mask that transitions two shots together. Simple as that, right? And for the second shot, this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like an artificial, like pretending this is just, um, you know, I guess a transition point here. So again, the same thing is I'm going to drop a mask on top and then I'm going to select the mask and it's going to say click to add a control point. So I'm going to create a very simple, you know, line here and just like this. And again, I'm going to click invert mask and make sure that, um, you know, I create keyframes for um, the transforms and control points, uh, maybe scale as well. 
this is what it will look like. This is a very kind of quick job, but uh, this just shows you an example, right? So, you know, uh, definitely could be better. I, I would go back, obviously, I think, to just refine this a bit more. But um, I just wanted to show you this as two examples of creating, you know, mask shots between two clips. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.